Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Um, I'm a few minutes late because I couldn't actually get live on, something wrong with my uh, iPad. But anyway, I've sorted it, we're back on and here we go. Right, um, just going to say hello to one or two people. Ralph's Trucking, thanks for coming my friend. Shuka, thanks for coming to eat all. absolutely awesome of you. SM, SM Ali, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you. Hi Joe. Thanks for coming. Andy. Another awesome guy. Thanks for coming. We've got five or six people in here. It's only showing two up. I just want to thank everybody that supported this channel. And what we're going to be doing today is avocado, boats and this is a breakfast. Now this is so healthy you're going to love this one. This is something you're going to have in the morning. So... What you need for this, I'm not going to be messing about, we're going to get straight into this uh, recipe. Um, obviously, one or two people have not come because I should have been on at 9 o'clock and what they're doing, they've obviously thought, well, it's not live tonight. I'm used, sorry I've been not been coming on a Sunday, but usually, um, it's usually on a Sunday night, but I've been doing money anyway. Right. Joe Kitchener, Andy Kitchener, I just want to thank you uh, for coming and supporting Carry On Jeff and John. Absolutely fantastic of you. Love you to be. Thank you. Really do appreciate that. And Andy, I hope you're feeling better, my friend. I really do. Right. What you need for this, obviously, is two avocados. I've already split, split it. Took the big stone out. I think we all know how to do that. Just cut it in half, roll it round. In the middle of the stone out job done 30 grams of mozzarella cheese there you go nice stringy cheese uh, bacon lardons big old bacon lard to get some bacon and just cut up into little bits and a couple of eggs right i'm just going to move these out the way and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do and obviously we want some salt and pepper the tomatoes, they're for a garnish, they go awesome with this. It's entirely up to yourself what you use. The Winston family, Colleen, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome. Krista Butcher, I'm going to tell you something now. If you haven't got Krista Butcher, get him. He is absolutely awesome. He can cook and he's so funny. Uh, might be a bit of eff effing and blinding in there. Check him out, Andy. He he's awesome. You'll absolutely love him, honestly. Chris the Butcher, massive shout out to him. He is absolutely superb. Chris, top man. Right, get your two halves of these. And what we've got to do is just cut a little bit out of the middle there. Because what we want to do is make like a little boat to so get your knife like that just run it and just cut a little bit out like so cut it like a little nip like that yourself a teaspoon and just take a little bit out like that You've got it like that. Just make yourself a little boat. Now that we can eat. Love avocados. So healthy. Beautiful. Love avocados. Right. Now what we're going to do. Get a knife. And just run it. Round the edge like so. All the way round the skin. One. Now you could do these in the skin, but when they're ready, 
you want to be able to just just to be able to slice them and make sure your avocados are nice and ripe turn them over like that right because it's not on the board it'll stick to it like so Turn them over like that. Exactly the same with the other one. And they'll just come out into like little boats. Never got a tea towel when you want one. But we got one now. Let me just say hello to one or two people. Rob's homemade. Been a while. Hope you well. We're always well, my friend. Bargain by Sucky. Suka. Sorry, I always say Sucky. Right. Turn that over like so. And put them to one side. Get yourself a pan. I'm usually pretty organised but I forgot to get the butter out. Andy, Aldi, Norpak, absolutely awesome. Hi Gemma, thanks for coming sweetheart. All show the love to each and every one of you. Absolutely fantastic, I'm just going to turn my phone off. Keeps bloody bleeping. Cannot best Al Al Aldi, you Rob? Aldi's awesome mate, you ask Andy he'll tell you, absolutely brilliant, all show the love, grab each other up, let's keep cooking and let's keep showing that love, Chris you know, right, fire, spoonful of butter, Like so. Get yourself another saucepan like so. Right, we're going to do the lardons first. That, just let that melt in there. Right, lardons in there. Bacon lardons. If you ain't got a lardon, just get yourself some bacon. Well, that's what, that's what lardons are, isn't it? Bacon. And what we want to do is just brown these bacon lardons. That's all we want to do. Remember what I told you, never use metal on metal and your pans will last you a lifetime, trust me. I'm still here Mr Don at work watching you cook. Thanks Colleen, absolutely awesome. Check out the Winston family. Great family, great supporters, you can't ask for anybody as nice as them people and her husband is Barry White I don't know if you know Barry White the awesome singer oh he's brilliant another great guy he really is so all we're doing is browning the bacon bits off like that yeah 
I had this for my breakfast. Um, and I tell you what, you won't want anything to eat by dinner time. Because this is so healthy, it's unbelievable. Beautiful natural cup 60. John, what are you up to, my friend? Well, we're doing avocado, healthy breakfast, which is scrambled egg, uh, mozzarella cheese, and bacon lard on. You're going to absolutely love this. And I just want to thank everybody for the seven likes. Absolutely brilliant of you. And I really do appreciate it. So all we're doing is crisping this bacon up. It won't take very long. And don't put any oil in. Don't need to put any oil in whatsoever when you're doing bacon bits. Because the fat comes out of it. See that? The fat is coming out of it. People that put oil when they're cooking bacon, they want locking up. They really do. That is not the way to do it. This is the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I'll put you right, don't you worry about that. Nine people in, nine likes. Absolutely brilliant. Kimmy Kitchen, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. Everybody show the love to Kimmy's Kitchen. Uh, just recently made friends with them. And I tell you what, you support them, they'll always come back. And that's what we want. Not these ones that sit on the side. You're not going to grow your channel. Channels are not going to grow if you're not prepared to put the work in. You have to show the love. And if you're not showing the love, sit back and think everyone's just going to come to you. They're not. I've proved that over the years. I've supported no end of people. Honestly. Right. The bacon's done. Bit of kitchen towel. Because at the end of the day, we don't want any fat. We don't want any fat on our uh, on our bacon bits. Can't be doing the fat. And on this channel, you'll find that everything is healthy. Right. Put them on there. Now look at the fat coming out of that bacon. You know what I mean? Bacon lard on. The fat that's coming out of it. But we'll get it off of the paper. That's why you don't put no oil in. And I just want to congratulate my middle lad. Um, he cooked his first fillet steak at work and he got a tip for it. Now how awesome is that? Absolutely brilliant. Gary Springer Repair. Thanks for coming my friend. I'll watch just for the accent. But please listen to me. You've got to learn some of these recipes my friend. Sod the accent. I'll do some of these please. Gary Springer, it may as well be Gary Springer, you know in America we all, have all them sex people on and all that lot, the Gary Springer show is in here, Joy Stewart, another great lady, but please show, show Gary Springer repair, honestly, check him out, absolutely awesome, he does lives as well, right, put the bacon over there, Get yourself a jug. One egg. Two eggs. There you go, how about that? Eh? I'm not really organised for them. What you want to do is lightly beat. Right, we're going to turn that down a bit now. And what you want, because I've got it on the big fire, this is the big burner, what you need, now that's bubbling. When it's bubbling, right, it's time to put the egg in. There you go. And what we do with this, is keep moving it around like so. And this, my friends, my YouTube family is the way that you do um, omelettes and this 
just mix it around like that, see that? Now is it better with that on or on? I hope none of you are scared of the dog. And all I want to do is just break that up. Oh, it's awesome. Now, let's think of something decent. Let's do something good for the weekend. Gemma, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Share you on my community tab. That is awesome of you, sweetheart. Check out Gemma. She's absolutely awesome. Share us out. Let's get some people in. Let's all learn how to cook the proper way. Not the old greasy way. Right, take that off there like that. Turn the fire off. And all we do then is put your mozzarella cheese in. There you go. And what you do then is just fold that in. Fold it in. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do, fold it in. And it'll melt because it's still cooking. The pan's still hot. You know what I mean? And what we want then is a bit of black pepper in there. Calm beat, a nice bit of black pepper. This is so easy, but what a breakfast this is. What a breakfast this is. Right. It's time, my friends, for plating up. Right. What we're going to serve this with is some nice tomatoes, and that's what you want. Cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes. But get the small ones, the ones on the vine. They're the best. Sweet. Absolutely awesome. Like that. Your avocados on, like so. And all we do then is break your, your cheese and your egg up. Now that's still cooking. Look at that. There you go, look at that. Nice. Stringy cheese. This is the fiddly bit. And all we want then The hardest part, because you know I like my presentation, is getting them to stay up there like that. But, for a dinner party, they will be absolutely pockets. They really will. Now then, as a starter in the morning, 
。你話。Avocado breakfasts with scrambled egg and bacon and cap it with some nice tomatoes. Absolutely awesome. Me you. Hi Diane. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome. Hi Ron. Thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely fantastic. Check out Ron the Wizard. He's absolutely fantastic, he really is. Right, I'm just gonna take my thumbnail. Um, camera, action, you know what I mean? Oh, let's have a bit more bacon on here. Presentation means everything. Now we don't want a picture of a spoon and the butter because that is trampish. Right, let's say hello to one or two people. I'm drawing over here. Looks very healthy. Sorry I'm late, we'll have to re-watch this. UK Scrapper. This one is fantastic, it really is. It's great for in the morning. You have that in the morning. You tell me, Tom, if you want, fry them. It's up to you. You know what you want with them. But then, see, if you leave them in the uh, shell on the outside, you know, the skin. If you leave it in the skin, we ain't going to be able to slice it. But this way, you just slice it. Get all that nice mozzarella and scrambled egg in there. I'm telling you, this will fill you up until, and I'm guaranteeing you, till dinner time. But don't have it at half eleven, and then your dinner's at twelve in an half an hour, because you'll be all right. You'll be full. Do you know what I'm saying? But this is something different for breakfast. Now... With me being borderline diabetic, I'm going to beat it by, um, by uh, diet. Now, this is healthy. It really is. This is one that I was recommended by the dietitian. And he said, have avocado, scrambled egg, and bacon bits, and some tomatoes. In the morning, it'll fill you up. And I'll tell you, I've already had this, and I, tell you, I, I was full till about 2 o'clock. Man, he had them at five to two, and I was I was hungry again at two o'clock. Now I'm only joking, but they will keep you full for about four or five hours. I guarantee you. And avocados is one of the finest uh, things you will ever eat. Tomatoes are good for you. It's good for cancer, that kind of thing. So this is healthy, it really is. Yes, yeah, looks so good. I'll have to try it. Colleen, try it, sweetheart. You really will love this. Diane, if you come to the door now, you won't get in because I put extra locks on. And I've got more alarms on there, so no one can get in. You know what I mean? Because what Diane does and what Wendy does, they come and they try to rob me of my recipes. But they can't. Now, this is for the wife. The wife will eat this. When I finish rabbiting on here, this is going to be for the wife. Now, I always say I'm cooking for the wife, but I am. Looks great, mate. Thanks, uh, Russell. Absolutely awesome of you. That's really it, my really John. Diane, you, honestly, sweetheart, you can come. I'm going to try out at home. Beautiful. Um, you'll love it. Honestly, please try this one. And send me some comments and tell me if you liked it or If you didn't like it, don't comment because I don't want any bad comments on me on my channel, do I? You know what I mean? So there you go. Now I ducked up my thumbnail. I'm alright now. Because you can just uh, you can start to put it up, can't you? And if you want it to stay on the plate a bit longer, right? Mm. If you turn the boat over, 
and just cut a slice off, it'll stand up straight. Like that. You know what I mean? That's what you want to be flat, bit of presentation. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Hey, that is so healthy. Unbelievable, I'm telling you. And I've got some awesome recipes coming up for you. I really have. I'm going to show you some deep fried hot dog, um, like a sausage rolls with cheese and a sweet chilli dip. That's what we're going to be doing. And also, I'll put a bit of tomatoes on there, some tomatoes as well. Hmm? Hmm. No wonder I'm looking so healthy. You know what I mean? I lost another three pounds in weight as well. I must start putting my wallet in the, in the safe and I won't keep losing all these pounds. You know what I mean? Mm. Awesome. Mmm. Tomato. Yeah. Avocado. Brilliant. I love it. Now we can put the bacon on now. Now you've seen it. I wish you could all come over and try this, I really, I, I, honestly, you'll absolutely love this one. Tell you what, Dad, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send some over on a plane for you, in a cargo for you, eh? I'd love you all to come over and try this. Every single one of you would be welcome at my house, you really would. Love deep fried hot dog, most. Suka, that's what we're going to do. Russ, I keep meaning to come and see you. Check out Bargain Boys. Um, he's got a website where he sells t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Come and check him out. He's so cheap and unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I will be cooking this going to rewatch how you've done it. UK scrapper. This is one of the easiest things you can you can cook, my friend. Now obviously I've took the skin out. Because if you're in a restaurant, you take the skin out. And what you do, I'll turn it over like that. And what you do, you cut a piece off the bottom like that. And then you turn it over. And there you are. Flat as a pancake. See that? Flat as a pancake. There you go. And that's all you've got to do is just cut the bottom off. You know what I mean? Cut the bottom off like that. Slice straight across. Do this for your husband or your wife or whatever. They'll love you to bits. They really will. Trust me. So this is what you're going to have for your breakfast. Do you know what I'm going to Google later on? I'm going to Google why you gain 20 subscribers and then all of a sudden you go down you go down by another 10. It's a joke. It really is. Is that you, Lou? Uh, Kerry, do you want to take this? Kerry, do you want to take this? I've done this especially for the wife, so she's, she's going to have this. Yeah, I've got Can't stay on too long because my young my young boy, our Luke, he's not too good. He's got a runny nose and he's um only got a bit of a flu, that's all. But he'll be alright. He must be bad because he's usually down 
um, trying to pinch me food, you know what I mean? Trying to give me this border wipe. Gotta be good. Gotta keep clean. Always clean up as you go along, you know what I mean? When you work in a restaurant, there's nothing worse when you've got people that work in the kitchen and there's bits and there's pots everywhere and that. It's no good. Clean up as you go along, it's so easy. That's the way you do it. That's a sign, that's always a good sign of a good kitchen, that is. Right, the wife's got that. That's it, Diane. There's no food for you, sweetheart. None whatsoever. Um, what can we do? Um, should we do something else? What do you reckon? What shall we do? Wait, right. should we do something else? Wait there, I'm going to do something else for you. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Get yourself three eggs. One. When you're cooking, bring your bin at the side here. That's what I forgot to do. Then you don't have to keep going down there and... You know what I mean? When you're cooking, you've got to be organised, you know what I mean? Now I do omelettes for my lads nearly every night. Omelette mad. That's what they are. Right, three eggs. Same thing, lightly beaten. Wash. And what we're going to do with this one, if I can get the lid off, we're going to have some smoked salmon. Right. I'm not in the butter. You like that, don't you? Butter. There we go. Don't know if you notice, but I always use plastic. Got to go back to work. Bye all, have a blessed day. Diane, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. I love cooking for my wife. I really do. Love her to bits. Fantastic woman. Um, I'll be uploading some Northern Light pictures um, for you all to look at. It's going to be awesome, that is. Right. Boy, well, you're egging. Run it round the pan. 
function and put that on a medium light. If you got a white light, man, you would always put forward, Caroline, honestly, so you talk. See, I'm doing another recipe, I'm doing you an omelette, and then people are going. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I bother. Right, what you want to do is run it round the pan like that. Run it round the pan like that. See? Just run that round there like that. This is the way how to do an omelette. Run it round like that. Absolutely awesome. Easy way to do an omelette. Do you like omelettes? How was that holiday? Absolutely fantastic, Ross. It really was. Brilliant. If you've never been to the Northern Lights, you don't know what you're missing. And we've already booked another holiday um, for the 7th. February, I'll take him on my way, and then we're going to Poland. You see, Poland? Yeah. The reason why we're going to Poland is because we want to see that Auschwitz. Auschwitz, is it? The concentration camp. That's going to be awesome, that is. I've always wanted to go there. Right. What we need to do now is just put some little bits of salmon in there. My, my son ain't gonna have this, I'm gonna have it myself. Can't beat fresh salmon. We go through loads of this video in our house. Gary Springer gone, he likes my accent, he said. He likes my accent that much, he's cleared up. No good. No good, Gary. Bit of uh, the old coarse pepper. Turn that down slightly. Roll it over to the other side. Like that. Ready? Voila! How easy was that to do an omelette? You'll be surprised how many people don't know how to do it. My missus says, I can't do omelettes to break up in the middle and all that. Yeah, because you don't do it right, sweetheart. There we go. No. Nice and easy. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this on. Oh, that's nice. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. How easy was that omelette to do? That's cut perfect. You are so right. There you go. Put whatever, whatever you want in. <laughs> Voila! Where people go wrong is when they're doing omelettes. It's too high. Do it on medium. Run your pan round. Get all that excess liquid off the top. To round to the side. And then just go like that, push it down, same again, fold over, put your stuff in, bang, bang, and there you go. How easy. No, no, I'm getting fat. So tonight, 
we've done two things. I've shown you how to do an omelette. I'm not going to stand here doing all these all these different things. You know what I mean? Right, six people, thirteen likes. Right, I just want to thank every single one of you. Thanks for sharing. Is that awesome, John? Is that alright for you? Suka, you'd love to cut the Northern Lights. Loads of people want to go there, sweetheart. The only problem is I don't think there's any castles here, darling. Love omelets, easy to make. Can't go wrong. Colts 49, I Colts checking in. Thanks for checking in. How awesome is that? Couple of new channels uh, that are in here tonight. Shout on some love. You're always welcome here, Colts 49. I bet you, I, I, wouldn't, I wonder if anybody can guess what um, American football team he supports. Come on, let's all have a guess. I think it's um, uh, Green Bay Packers. That's who I think it is. Has anybody else got it? Cowboys. Yeah. I got four man. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be the Cowboys. I think it's Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers, they're a good side, aren't they? I mean, I'm, I'm UK, I am. I'm, I'm English. But I do like to watch the American football. That's American team, yeah. Nadine, I am listening. Thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely brilliant. I expect you've missed me uh, recipes, have you? What's Nadine? He's sneaking up on us. See, in the background, he's been, he's been listening to us. Hey, he's not a spy. I'll guarantee he's not a spy. He's an awesome guy, and his family's brilliant. What I love about Nadine's family is they all stick together. They all do everything together, and that's what family should do. You know, I'll tell you something. When your kids grow up, if you haven't looked after them properly, done everything like on a Sunday, we all like sit round and have a meal and all that, they clear off. You don't see them again. Do you know what I mean? Now that would kill me, because I want my kids around me all the time. Do anything for my kids. Like all you lot was. You know what that smoked salmon? And that omelette, you don't need to put any salt in, because you've got a little bit of salt in the smoked, smoked uh, salmon. Because they do it on like wood and all that, you know, smoke it. Whoa. Awesome. Very good for you as well. Then you should have two two work portions of fish a week and you'll live to be about 280. Honestly, that's why I keep having two. I don't want to live till about two. Well, if I live till, till I'm about 270, I'll be happy. You know what I mean? But salmon's fantastic for you. I do like to cook healthy for you. I really do. You don't see a lot of deep frying stuff on here. You know what I mean? One because I ain't got a chip pan, my lad burns it. But we can improvise. Um, imagine some, I've, I've got some spicy chicken marinating. I'll tell you what I cook for the tea. Here, are, chicken curry. That's what I did for the lads earlier on. I can't, that's all I do, I spend all my life cooking. Here, some nice rice. Look at that. There's no clumps in there. Because I've got a, a, a video link on here. It tells you how to do perfect rice every time. The secret is get the uh, get all the starch out of it. But tonight I was in a rush and I didn't get the starch out. But if you get it boiling and let it simmer and keep an eye on it. And as soon as you go like that. And you get a couple of grains and you can sink your tea straight through it, you know it's ready. Put it in a spatula, right? And then put some hot water on it and just let it stand for about three or four minutes. Put it in your bowl, voila. That's how you do rice. Everybody's got their own intake of doing rice, but this is the rock, this is the way to do it. 
Scrap, I love curry. Love chicken curry. It's all here for you. Come on, come on, get it, get a taxi, get a taxi round here, and we can all sit here and uh, all, all come round here, and we'll all have a curry and a few beers. Now, Dean, he drinks uh, bottles of whiskey. He does. Now we don't laugh out loud. Uh, there's somebody else in there I've missed. Heading out. Have a great evening. Outdoor adventure and travel. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you. Sorry I haven't spoke to you. But it's a pleasure to see you. It really is. So I just want to say a massive shout out to you. All show the love to the outdoor, please. I'm sorry I didn't speak to you as much as I should have done. But it's hard to keep it. It's hard to keep contact with everybody. Ian Matthews, another great, I damn I missed the food. You did miss the food, but if you watch the replay, Ian, honestly, mate, there's some, there's a couple I've done on there. I've done, um, shown you how to do a salmon omelette, the easy way, and I've shown how to do avocado with scrambled egg, mozzarella cheese, and bacon bits on top. And that, I'm not kidding you, is one of the healthiest breakfasts you'll ever eat. And like I've just said to all my YouTube family, it will keep you going. For about three or four hours before you're hungry again honestly my diabetic uh, there's Tom that recipe and I thought I'd show that with you I've been playing in the shed Ian what have you actually been doing in that shed when you say playing I mean I mean we like to keep everything clean on this channel we really do now Ian, he's from, uh, he's from Yorkshire. Crossley Toy Party, sounds like a good breakfast. Check it out, try it, and tell me if that ain't, that wasn't awesome, I'm telling you. Once you've had it, you'll have it again. It's one of the nicest breakfasts, healthy breakfasts. It beats your sausage and all that, you know. I can't have too much fatty food. I can't have it. I love a cup breakfast, but that is one for me. The wife's just pinched it, so that's it. So, Crossy Toy Party, thanks for coming. You're always welcome. You really are. Everybody's always welcome. Mm. I love smoked salmon. Omelette. Mm. Oh. The sake of doing omelettes, if we put too much stuff in the middle, when you fold it over like that, it'll all break. It just gets overloaded. You don't want that. Mm. I'll thank everybody for the 15 likes. Now I'm really upset tonight because my mate ain't coming, Raphael. Not that she's hiding in the background, but I do miss Raphael. Because Raphael is one of my best mates, he really is. That's an omelette I thought it was an egg well it's made of. I really don't get that. I really don't get that. What do you think omelettes are made of, my friend? That's, uh, are they made of Brussels sprouts? Let's try and, uh, let's, let, let's try and have a little guess. Let's have a little guess what they're made of. Yeah, Colt 49. It is a nice beer, that is, Ian. I'm a big Guinness drinker, but I can't drink it now. Well, when I say I can't drink it, I may, instead of having like eight or nine 
uh, bottles and all. I'll have a couple of weeks now. Because I'm disciplined. Really, I'm going to eat this diabetes by, by diabetic. I'm going to do it by his diet. Trust me. Can anybody... I'm, I'm a bit baffled by that uh, remark. Um, thought it was an egg well. Can anybody tell me, I mean all the years, in the 35 years of cooking, I've never made a red well. I've made a well, uh, a water well, but I've never that. So I would, I would, I would like to learn that. I really would. I'll, I'll, I'll keep checking each other out. But if you come to, if you come here, um, and you're going to show a love to our YouTube family on here, make sure you're genuine. Don't just come and subscribe and then and then clear off, and don't even watch the channel or watch a video. You know, it's just a waste of time. It really is. And if you treat, we I treat YouTubers and hobby because that's all it is. If I were deadly serious about making money on YouTube, I'd be doing this four or five times a week, or get a fishbowl and let it run up for seven days. I'm all right. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not desperate. I don't. I don't need. It. I'm, I'm. I'm retired now. I retired at fifty nine. And really, my kids are all. They're all made and all that. We're okay. We're it was a big time. Honestly, I could not wait for another 30 years and still be alright. But I've worked bloody damned hard, I have. I really have. John, you have great moderators. Yeah, you're right there, Ian. You really are, mate. Treat it as an hobby, because that's all it is. Because YouTube is one big rat race. It really is. And there's a lot of channels out there that I really haven't got time for. I really haven't. Now, some of us have got like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 subscribers. And the views we get, it's, it's, it's pathetic. It really is. Because you see some, some recipes on, on, on YouTube. Um, and you think, I wouldn't feed it to the pigs. I really wouldn't. But they end up getting thousands and thousands of views. Now I don't know how that works. Is it the way you word it? How do you get onto the top of the YouTube? If your face don't fit, you ain't gonna get on there. Trust me. It's always the big ones. It's none, none, it's none of the small ones like ourselves. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've seen some YouTubers, you see them go live and all that. And you look, and they get three comments. And you think to yourself, well, that can't be right. They've got like 7,000 bloody subscribers. If they were true subscribers, they'd all be commenting all the time. They really would. I won't be able to feed myself if I depended on YouTube. Suka, do you know what my aim is? Trust me. I just want to say hello to Raphael, he's here. Raphael, I've waited for you. He's my big mate, Raphael. Love him to bits. Um, it was only until about three or four months ago I realised that he wasn't American, he's Polish. Now I'm coming to Poland. Uh, February or March, I don't know the exact date, but we're going because we want to see the Aswich. Alswich, is it? Alswich. Uh, the concentration camp. Um... And if Raphael, you're around, or whatever, come and see you, or you come and see me, and we'll have a beer together. Love Raphael, check out Raphael, absolutely awesome. Known him for over it, nearly two years now, he's a great guy. Alza Switch, yeah, that's where I'm going to go, I really am. Your mate's in here, Raphael, UK scrapper, another awesome guy. See, they should all, all, all the ones on here, um, should 
have more views and more subscribers but we want it we want genuine people all the time now i've missed some of you garter archie what do you eat what do you mean what do you eat who, who are you talking to are you talking to me what do i eat or what does everybody else eat or or what You'll need to elaborate a bit more because I don't know. If you're asking me, I'm a big fish lover. Sea bass, lobster, scallops, mackerel, anything like that. Cockles, prawns, shrimps. Shrimps are the same thing. The only thing I don't need is squid. Can't be doing with squid. I really can't. But anything else to do with fish... Um, I'm there. If the Germans caught me in, in the war and they said, give us all the answers, all the British plans, I'll give, I'll cook you a lobster. I'd tell them everything. Because I can't, I, I just can't resist. I really can't. Victoria Art. Hello, sweetheart. How are you going? Victoria Art, check it. I don't know if she's still, I don't think she's uploading any videos, but she ought to. Now that lady, she's some beautiful lady. She's, she's um, she should be a model. She really should. And she shows you how to do, put makeup on all that, you know what I mean? So check out Victoria Art, she's an awesome lady. And I really do appreciate you coming, sweetheart. You're absolutely fabulous. And what a friend you are when you were doing YouTube. I don't know if we're having a break. Um, I don't know how you're doing, but I wish you all the best of luck in the world, sweetheart. I really do. Suka, check out Victoria. I don't know if she's not loading anymore, but I hope so. That is my favourite. I love seafood. Hey, how, how are you doing? All right, Victoria. I've lost a bit of weight. Um, I'm on the borderline of diabetes. Didn't even know I had it. I went next. I went a little bit giddy. Um, it's my lad keep asking me for money. My wallet was nearly empty and I looked at it all and I went all oh, giddy. Um, yeah, my sugars, um, done my sugars and that. But I've told them I'm going to do it. I'm going to lose some weight. I do a bit more exercise. And I tell you what, another three or four months time, I'm going to be a model. I'd be walking on the catwalk. I really would. So, Victoria, if you're going to be doing any more videos, you keep on going, sweetheart, because you know I'll show the love. I'll, Iced, Rose, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. That's it, UK scrap. I'll show the love to Victoria. Great lady, great supporter. What time is it? Eight minutes past ten, it's nearly my bedtime. But... When you've got awesome people in like this, you, you, you just got to keep going for a bit longer, ain't you? Hey, I might get 10 hours. I might get 10 hours. Hey, 10 hours. My watch time's going up. Unbelievable. Hey. My aim... My aim on YouTube is to get enough money to buy an egg. That be my goal. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to get modernised, whatever whatever it is, in the next twenty five years. And when I do, we're all gonna have a party. Cause I eat avocados and smoke salmon and all that. Like I said earlier on, you'll live to be two hundred and seventy. Never worry about. Never stress about anything. Always be happy. Because stress kills everybody. Do you know what I mean? I love cherry toms. Mm. I don't know how many people can eat them big tomatoes. I've never tasted them. Right. I'm sure you don't want to listen to me waffling. I think you've got better things to do. 
Um, you can't beat a cherry tomato. Yes, oh, right there, Scrapper. You're the man. You know, mate. Can't beat it. A more old and great eye opener. Yeah, I've said, uh, Raphael, I've been told that there's lots to do in Poland. Um, I think there's an underground town as well. How awesome will that be? Hey, that'd be unbelievable, that would. Oh, I look forward to that. Raphael, if you're about, mate, I'd love to check out with you, mate. I really would. You know what I mean? If you have your phone number, when I'm in Poland, I'll ring you and we can come and meet. We can have a great big massive hug together. You know what I mean? At a pint of beer. Now, how nice would they? Meet my family and I'll meet your family. That would be absolutely awesome. I've got a lot of time um, for my YouTube family. Raphael is in Denmark. You having a laugh? Oh, I'm not coming all the way to Denmark. No, I thought you was in Poland, mate. Oh, you, you're Polish, but you live in Denmark. Bloody Nora, eh? Well, if I ever go on holiday again, I'll come to Denmark, eh? Because that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be, um, me and the family, we've had four holidays in the last six months. So we've taken my mum away on the 7th of February to a nice um, Thornley house, which is a great big castle. You'd love that, Suka. That's in Nottingham. That's where um, Wendy comes from, who's usually on here. Um, so my mum's looking forward to that. No kids allowed. Oh, what a bonus, no kids allowed. I mean, I don't mind kids and that, but I can't eat three of them, you know what I mean? Then that sounds a nice bit of mushrooms. Have I missed anybody? I haven't said hello to. If, if I have, just say hello. Bargain by is back. Richard um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. Favourite songs would come on the telly. I've got a uh, copyright for that one. And my last video, um, the Spain woman went on holiday there. I thought I was going to get a copyright for that one. I thought, well, who's a bonus? But all gonna get, I'm going to get slapped here. You know what I mean? So I read no to eat. You've got to get some salmon in our house. Otherwise, bloody, you, you don't get any other life because they're all bloody mad. We'll must buy about three packs of it a week. I would keep stuff in containers, keep it nice and fresh. That's what you've got to do. If you, if you don't what you like, you need to like what you, you had. Always eat the best food, Raphael. You know that, my friend. Anyway, I want to thank every single one of you. And I mean that. I really do appreciate it. You're all absolutely awesome people. And I love you to do, love you to bits. I'm a genuine person. You show me the love. You say, you leave me a comment. I mean, one, one or two people share us out. But... That's all right, but let's have the true friends. True people all the time. It's getting hard work doing YouTube. It really is getting hard work. I mean, I wasn't going to come tonight, but I got all the stuff ready and the wife says, go on, you're going to be doing this for me. Come and show you your YouTube family. Honestly. I said, excuse me. Salmon always repeats that. When I have fish, it repeats on me. 
Well, they have salmon, it always repeats on me. I've had out loud. Now, it does, fish does repeat on some people. Anyway, I just want to say you're all absolutely awesome. Show that bit of love. If you want your channel to grow, you've got to keep interacting with your true, genuine friends. Now, I've gone through uh, quite a few of my subscribers, and to be quite honest, I've just got rid of them because they're a waste of bloody time. You know, if you get 10%, if you get 10% of your subscribers, you're doing well, honestly, on each video. It's so bloody difficult, it really is. It, all YouTube, just one big rat race, it really is. But I've met some awesome friends on YouTube. I really have. Barry the Sonic King, hello. Hello, my friend. Thanks for coming. You're always welcome. I'm sorry, but we're coming to the end of the stream. So, bargain by came from Gemma's. Barry the Sonic King, I do appreciate you coming, my friend. Show that man some love, but be genuine, Barry, please. Be genuine with us, because these people on here, they are genuine. They really, really are. I know, because week after week after week after week, they come um, and watch me cook. And when that day goes, that is the time when I'm going to say, sorry, I'm out of here. Kathleen... Sweetheart, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I'm supposed to be ending this stream. I really am. Hello, John. Sorry I missed you. We'll watch for sure. Now, Kathleen, we all know Kathleen. She's an awesome lady. And she, she's a bit of a laugh, really. She really is absolutely awesome. And... You can tell she's a, she's a nice lady. Do you know why? Because look at how many people. And look at our YouTube family. How they all in, interact with each other. They're all welcoming me. Hi, how are you? And all that lot. That's because we've got an awesome YouTube family. We've built it up. And one day, we're all going to be absolutely awesome together. We really are. If we all keep supporting each other. Keep showing the love. We're going to get stronger. You really are. It is hard. But just spend half an hour of your day just support one or two of them. If they comment to you, you comment back and they'll keep coming back. Thank you, sweetheart. And thank you and all for Kathleen for thinking of us. Thinking, I bet she sat there and she thought, you know what? I'm going to see Carry On Jeff and John. You know why? Because she knows I'm genuine, she, she knows I love her to bits. I'm, I'm not phony, trust me, I really ain't. I support. Awesome sis, a bit cold today here in Glasgow. Hokkaï the news, Suka. And she is an awesome uh, moderator, she really is. Raphael, top man. I'll read that later, Raphael. I'll read that later, mate. It, it, it's a big sentence. It, it went too quick. You can really name them. Most of them. And if... You're right, Suka. You can. You know exactly who your friends are. You know. They'll comment. You know, they'll comment to you. And I subscribe to you and all that. But half of it goes to spam. And then you'll subscribe to them. And sometimes I think to myself, is it really worth it subscribing? You know, I mean, I'm not bothered about subscribers. I really ain't. I'm, all I'm interested in is my friends, my YouTube family, the ones that always come. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and John, Massive shout out to every single one of you. I mean, I could leave this running for you. But it could be here all night. You know what I mean? But I just want to thank 
uh, every single one of you. Massive shout out. I appreciate it and I love you to bits. Now that, now I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you like what I cook for you tonight and I hope you've learned something. Kathleen, we've learned how to do an omelette. Please try the avocado um, breakfast one. It's absolutely awesome. This is right up your street. It really is. Anyway, gotta go. Um, so thanks for coming and I hope to see you all next Sunday. If it ain't Sunday, I'll put it I'll put an announcement out for Monday. Vicky Art, thanks sweetheart. Love it a bit, sweetheart. Brilliant. Thanks UK Scrapper. Thanks again, John. Take care. You take care as well, my friend, and be lucky. Bye Kathleen. You're an absolute darling. Bye all in the chat. Yeah. Whatever you do in life, be lucky and stay healthy. You're all absolutely brilliant. Awesome people. Voila.